Early last year, I sat in this chair and I talked about our work convening an event called This American Moment, Bridging Religious Divides. Held at the Religious Freedom Center of the Museum Institute in Washington, D.C., the half-day symposium addressed the current climate of polarization in the United States and explored the role philanthropy can play in building unity. We were confident that the conversation brought to light important new thinking about the role philanthropy can play in fostering productive dialogue across religious divides in the United States and their impact on society. We hope to begin a process of facilitating and encouraging interfaith dialogues within the framework of religious pluralism that bring us close to a collective understanding. We left feeling good about our initiative and happy that we'd gathered religious leaders to come together in the spirit of unity. But the path since then has not been smooth. Since that time, we've seen more horrific acts of violence against religious groups inside their sacred places of worship. At the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh, an attack left 11 people dead. And at the Al Nur Mosque and the Linwood Mosque in Christchurch, New Zealand, an attack left 50 people dead. After New Zealand, we found ourselves responding yet again with a message of thoughts and prayers. However, this felt increasingly canned and unhelpful. We must do more than just encourage interfaith dialogue. We must address what needs to happen in society to change systemic causes of hate and violence. We must not forget that one of the stated goals of the New Zealand shooter was to divide communities and indeed to incite a civil war in the United States. Religiously motivated hate crimes have increased by nearly 20% in the U.S. since 2016. So, how do we turn our thoughts and prayers into action? Targets of these crimes tend to be members of communities that are traditionally marginalized. If those looking to divide are building a platform based on violence, then philanthropy needs to use its voice and resources not just to speak out against hate, but to provide a solution for the deep cultural divides that exist in our world today. Religious pluralism needs to move beyond gatherings convened by foundations, by civic leaders, and by think tanks, and to become a, a movement that thrives on social media, that ignites dinner conversation, and that becomes a force in everyday lives of today's youth. Religious pluralism can play a catalytic role in unifying humanity, particularly in the wake of such tragedies as the hate-motivated shootings in New Zealand, both by financing programming and advocating for religious pluralism throughout the country. We recognize faith-based organizations to be key players in civil society, both in ensuring the social fabric of a community as well as in times of crisis. Philanthropy has an opportunity here as a neutral convener, but also when we have our own differences. At the Hilton Foundation, we have chosen to raise our voice to bring attention to the opportunity that lies in embracing our differences. As a start, let's encourage one another to seek to listen, to learn, and to engage with the diversity around us. Thank you.